with Gary Lightbody. How are you? I'm very well. How are you, Fern? Not bad. Well, I just drew on my own forehead with a biro a minute ago. I was itching with the wrong end of the pen. Just not, not a wise move. Apart from that, I'm good. Now, how is everything in the Snow Patrol camp? What's going on? In the Snow Patrol camp, it's uh, great. We're off on a European tour this week. Um, the UK tour is behind us. And it was a heck of a lot of fun. That's it. Yeah, really, really a lot of fun. And, um, yeah, going to Scandinavia first and then sort of Holland, Belgium, Germany, all that. And then you to the States after that? Yes, um, two months in the in North America. Wow. And then back for festivals and such. By the end of that tour, UK, Europe and the States, are you kind of just over being on a bus, over travelling, you want to just sort of chill at home for a while? Um, no, I think once we pick up a head of steam, we're just excited to keep playing sort of every, sort of four or five times a week, you know. Um, you, you kind of don't want to... You don't want the momentum to kind of slow. Yeah, after about a year of it, yeah, you're fed up with it, for sure. Yeah. But we're only two months in, so if we're fed up with it by now, then we should be doing something else with our lives. Exactly. Uh, you're also headlining Tea in the Park this year as well, which Radio 1 will also be at. Excited about that? Very excited. Tea in the Park is one of the best crowds to play to in on the planet. Um, really is just um, so much fun. And, uh, yeah, we've done it. I think we've done it more than, more than any other band. Um, so yeah, this will, this will. I think it's us and Biffy tied for nice. band that I've done it the most. Um, so yeah, great to be back. It's a very special festival. I mean, as you said, that the crowds are infamously brilliant, but there's lots of nice stuff backstage. It's kind of like quite a, a family atmosphere backstage, right? Um, yeah, for the most part. Um, in our early years doing it, it wasn't um, wasn't so much, but I think now that we've calmed down a bit, then yes, yeah, it's uh, it's, um, it's it's a lot of camera, family and friends. So we've Scottish members in the band, so all their families are there. Generally, they're drunker than we are, but you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a nice homecoming, which I'm sure is lovely. But also, do you get really hassled with people texting you? Can you can I have tickets? Can I come along? When whenever you sort of do gigs there. Um, yeah, for sure. You get um, you you, you uh, some some people you haven't seen in a long time. You know, mm. <laughs> come out the woodwork. <laughs> yeah, for That's sure. A handy little text to send. Yeah. Um, I mean, the lineup is great for Tea in the Park this year. The Stone Roses, Kasabian, you guys, many more on there. Um, how do you feel about performing on the same bill as the Stone Roses, a, a um, band that have been much hyped getting back together? Utterly delighted about mm. that. Yeah, can't wait to see them. Going to go and see them. Hopefully, firstly in Manchester, and then we're we're doing a few festivals. Around the, around the Europe with them, um, are on the same bill as them. So, going to get to see them a few times this summer. I'm really excited. It's going to be so good. People are just so, you know, getting so, getting so excited about that. Um, and now, you guys, you played, what was the first year you did Tea in the Park? Was first year we did Tea right? in the Park was 1997, yeah. I think. I've heard yeah, you say that was like one of the best weekends of your life doing that festival for the first time. Um, yeah, it really was. Mm. Um, and at that festival, we, we met Zane Lowe for the first time, and he became a fan of the band and stuff, and got and got behind us. And um, so it was, yeah, we, we we made a lot of friends at that at that, at that festival. Mm. It's, it's I suppose it's quite an important festival for young bands starting out, meeting people, and getting that exposure. It's such a big platform for new bands to play. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, they had, you know, they're re they're really good. Um, tradition of having new band you know a new band's tent and getting behind like uh, uh, bands from very early early on in their careers and uh, they certainly did that for us you know I mean we were playing tent, right? Is that the one the, that you well played we played the first time we played like the, the, the very new band's tent you know and um, very wet behind our ears but <laughs> we, we, I think we'd only played to about 20 people up yeah. to the point where we played in that tent, you know, and there was maybe 300 people there that, wow. that day for us, which was amazing. Yeah, big moment, definitely. And if we were to go backstage at Tea in the Park or any uh, Snow Patrol gig, what would we see on the rider? Um, well, you know, puppies and kittens, very sure. much like very much like Mariah Carey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, as many full-size Star Wars outfits as possible. Wow, Yeah, cool. I do like to dress up as Princess Leia before a gig. <laughs> Um, and uh, you know, um, cakes and cakes and sweets and things like that. Mm. Birthday cakes. We like to have as many birthday cakes as possible. As much as I'd imagined, quite frankly. Yeah. yeah I pictured this sort of scene. Uh, well, look, we're really excited to see you guys over the the festival season. Tea in the Park, sort of one of the biggest ones, kicking things off, and then you're just rolling right through until you stop and go to bed. I'm until imagining. yes, until we um, get defibrillated at the end of the year. <laughs> well, look, lovely to see you. Thanks for popping by. Tell the rest of the band hi, and uh, we'll see you at one of those muddy festivals. Excellent. The lovely Gary Lightbody who popped in to see us earlier on this week uh, playing headlining Tea in the Park.